the noble wolves carve their souls into their swords. I shall not falter, no matter my foe. Hey guys, how's it going? Tao Kaka here with another punishment guide. This time we are going to take a look at how to punish Hilde. Hilde's AA Jails. You can duck the last hit of her AAA. Or if your character has a good tech crouch move, you can use that one as well. In addition to that, you could also use your auto GI that works against horizontal highs. Her A6 is another move that jails. Hilda 6A is minus 10 non block, but this move has extensions. You can duck the second hit of her 6AA, but you will get hit by her 6AK. Or you can use the auto GI for horizontal highs to beat the second hit of her 6AA. You can use the auto GI for horizontal mids to beat the third hit of her sword regalia 6AAA. But there is a mix up. And the last hit of her spare regalia 6AAB can be sidestepped to either side. And if you're playing Terra, you can even get the lethal hit here with her gloomy side 44A. Her 6AK is minus 10 on block, but you will get countered by the extensions of the string. The last hit of her 6AKA is minus 12 on block, but there's a different extension to be aware of. You can also sidestep the second hit of her 6AKA to either side. Or you can use the Ultra GI for horizontal lows to beat the last hit, but just keep in mind that there is a different extension to the string. And in addition to that, you can of course also jump attack over the last hit. The last hit of Hilda 6 AKB is a mid that is minus 14 on block. And of course you can also sidestep the second hit of her 6 AKB to either side. You can also use the auto GI for vertical mids to beat the last hit. Just remember her 6 AKA. To beat both Hilda 6 AA and her 6 AK, you can simply GI the second hit. To beat both her 6 AKA and her 6 AKB, you can sidestep the second hit to either side. Or instead you could also GI the last hit of both versions. Her 1A is a low that is minus 18 on block. If you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt to low for her after you block it. The second hit of her 4AA is a high that you can duck, but there is a mix up here too. Or you could also use the auto GI for horizontal highs, but this will get you hit by the mix up as well. Hilda's 4AK is minus 12 on block and she can delay the second hit. Some characters like Cervantes, Siegfried and Asta can sidestep the second hit to the left. But most characters will only be able to do this if Hilde delays the second hit. To beat both her 4AA and her 4AK, you can GI the second hit. Her charge A6 is minus 12 on block. Her sword regalia charge A6 A plus B is minus 14 on block. And you can also use the auto GI for horizontal mids to beat the second hit. Hilda's BB is minus 10 on block, but you will usually be left out of range to block punish unless you're Raphael or Amy. Her B6B jails. Her 6B is minus 12 on block. Her 6BB is yet another string that jails. And it is also minus 14 on block, but there are follow ups. Hilda's 6BBA is minus 12 on block. You can use the auto GI for horizontal mids to beat the last hit, but there is a mix up to consider. Her 6BBB is safe on block, but you can duck the last hit. 
and if you're playing X, Asta or Cassandra, you can duck the last hit and attempt the low throw if you want to. Some characters, such as Asta and Cervantes, can sidestep the last hit to both sides, some like Nina and Jolly Satira can sidestep it to the right, and X and Hilde can't sidestep it at all. In order to beat both her 6 BBA and her 6 BBB, you could GI the last hit. Hilda's 3B is minus 14 on block. Her 1B is a low that is minus 16 on block. Her 4B is minus 12 on block, but only if you close, otherwise it will be minus 10. Her while rising B is minus 12 on block, but there are follow-ups. You can duck the second hit of her while rising BA, but there is also mid extension here. Or, if you have a good tech crouch move, you can use that one as well. And in addition to that, you can also use Auto GI for horizontal high. Her while rising BB is minus 12 on block. You can sidestep the second hit to either side, but you will get hit by her while rising BA. And you can also use Auto GI for vertical mids to beat the second hit. If you play Terra, you can use her B plus K Auto GI to beat both extensions. But of course, you can also use your normal GI to beat both her while rising BA and her while rising BB. Hilda her charge B6 gels. It is also minus 16 on block, just make sure you're close enough to actually punish it. Hilde, her spare regalia, charge B6, B plus K, jails us raw. Her full crouch or while rising, charge B, is minus 16 on block. Her sword regalia, 3KA, is minus 20 on block. But you can also use the Auto GI for horizontal mids to beat the second attack. Her 2K or full crouch K is minus 14 on block. If you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt the low throw after blocking it. Hilda's 1K is minus 16 on block. If you block the first hit of her 1KK, you can sidestep to the right with X and Hilda. Her 1KB is minus 16 on block. You can sidestep the second hit of her 1KB after blocking the first low. Or if your character has the option, you can also use the Auto GI for vertical lows to beat the second hit. In addition to that, you can also jump attack after blocking the first hit. And if you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt the low throw after blocking the first hit. And after blocking the first hit, Hilda herself can use her 8AB jump attack to get a lethal hit. So in order to beat both her 1KK and her 1KB, you can sidestep to either side after blocking the first hit. Or, after blocking the first hit, you can also GI both extensions. The second hit of Hilda her 4KK can be ducked. Or, if you want to, you can also use the tag crouch move to beat the second hit. Her full crouch 3K is a low that is minus 22 on block. If you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt the low throw after blocking it. Her spare regalia, full crouch 3KB, jails. And just like her full crouch 3K, it is minus 22 on block, but leaves you in a stunning position after blocking it. Her 6A plus B is minus 14 on block. Her 2A plus B is also minus 14 on block. You have to whiff punish Hilde if you see her throw out her 4 A plus B auto GI. She gains an extension with Sword Regalia, which is her 4 A plus B A, but you can beat it with her auto GI for horizontal mids. And if you play X or Terra and you're on point, you can get your lethal hit against airborne opponents here. 
Hilde her 8a plus b is minus 12 from block. Her b plus k is also minus 12 from block. Her 6b plus k jails. Her 2b plus k is minus 22 on block, but there is no reason to throw this out without the extension. Because her 2b plus k k is only minus 14 on block. Hilde her 4b plus k jails. With spell regalia active, she gains an extension that can be sidestepped to the left by, for example, X, Terra and Hilde. But there are also other characters that can easily sidestep this to both sides, such as Asta and Cervantes. And if you play Terra, you can get your gloomy side 4 for a lethal hit here, because the last hit is a break attack. Her 8b plus k is minus 12 from block, but only if she can't push you away. Otherwise it will be minus 10 and only punishable by Amy and Raphael. If you block the shoulder of her while rising B plus K, this move is minus 20 on block. But if you block her leg, this move is actually only minus 14 on block. Her back turn B plus K is minus 12 on block but only with a wall or edge behind you. Out in the open it is only minus 10 so only Raphael and Amy will be able to punish it. You should jump attack over the second hit of her back turn B plus K A. Hilde her 4 4 A is minus 12 on block. If you get hit by the first hit an extension will come out but this one is safe on block. Hilde her 6 6 B is minus 12 on block but it has extensions. You can sidestep the second hit of her 6 6 B B to both sides. Or you could use your auto GI for vertical mids to beat the second hit as well. You can punish her 6-6-B and interrupt her 6-6-B-B with her I-10. Hilde her 8-8-B is minus 14 on block. Her 4-4-B is minus 22 on block but will leave you quite far away from her. Her 8-8-K is a low that is only minus 12 on block. But if you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt to low throw her after you block it. Her 6-6-A plus B jails, but only if she doesn't hold it. It is also minus 14 on block. If she holds it long enough for the second hit to turn into a break attack, you can sidestep it to either side. And if you play Terra, you can also get your gloomy side 4-4-A lethal hit here. Hilde her 6-6 B plus K is minus 14 on block. Her running K, just like most others, is minus 22 on block. And if you play X, Asta or Cassandra, you can also attempt to low throw her if you want to. Her reverse ledge A is minus 12 on block. Hilde her soul attack B can be sidestepped to the left by Siegfried and Asta for example. Or if you have a good auto GI for vertical mids you can use that to beat the second hit as well. You can duck the third hit of her soul charge AAAB just like a normal AAA. And of course you can also use a tech crouch move to beat it, just make sure that it is not too slow, as there is a follow up to keep in mind. Hilde her soul charge 6AB can be sidestepped to the left, but with X only if you're close to her. But you can also use the auto GI that beats vertical mids to beat the second hit. To beat all the different options that Hilde has from her 6A, the best option is to GI them. The second and third hit of her Soul Charge BAA jails. You can beat the second hit of her Soul Charge BAA with an auto GI for horizontal mids. Her Soul Charge while rising B B plus K can be sized up to the left by characters such as Cervantes, Asta and Siegfried. And you can also use the auto GI for vertical mids to beat her soul charge while rising B B plus K but also her while rising B B. Her soul charge 4 4 A B can be sidestepped to both sides. 
and if you play Terra, you can get your Gloomicide 44A lethal hit here. The second hit of a Soul Shop 66 BBB can be sidestepped to either side, just like a normal 66 BB. In addition to that, you can also sidestep the third hit to both sides. You can beat the second hit with an Auto GI for vertical mids, just like her 66 BB. And if you play X or Terra, you can get your lethal hit against airborne opponent against this string. But also, if you play Terra, you can get your Gloomy Side 44A lethal hit here too. You can sidestep the second hit of her Soul Shot 66B plus KB to both sides. And you can also use the Auto GI for vertical mids to beat the second hit. But also, if you really want to, you can sidestep and attempt a low throw with X, Asta or Cassandra. Heal the her critical edge, Jails. And her critical edge is minus 18 on block. This was it for my guide on how to punish Hilde. Thank you for watching.